it's a well-functioning system when it works properly. What we see over and over again, and it's interesting because we get sent a lot of the people that don't get fixed elsewhere. And what we see a lot of the time is, is systems where the whole pelvis and lumbar spine is not stabilised, is not held together effectively. We see very few problems that general sports medicine, physio, osteopaths can't fix that are stiffness problems. We see a lot of them that are not fixed that are too much mobility problems. And particularly in athletes, we've then got to be able to look at why we're not controlling their movement and do things about controlling their movement. And which is where we come in using the magnets a lot, which is a godsend a lot of the time. And what you'll see with some of the big dysfunctions around here is you can put a magnet on where the different afferent inputs are summating and where the ascending and descending inputs are all then coming back and superimposing on that summation of inputs to create an efferent flow. We can normalise all of that by putting a magnet over the area where it summates. And it gets back to almost what the, the lay person calls muscle memory all the time. If a muscle has increased tone and another one is inhibited, unless you completely break that system and balance things out, when you go to use it again, next time you train, it just recreates the whole dysfunction. Which again is what's fascinating. In these situations, we can get a magnet and put it on the right sort of spot, let everything go, and the person can train and can often perform and, and get much more function from their body while they're retraining it. Now it doesn't mean because we put a magnet on and, and stop all the summation of neural inputs, it doesn't mean that they're fixed. It means we've been able to create a, a better, more aligned structure and we've been able to give the muscles a better starting point because some aren't spasmed and some aren't, some aren't inhibited we still need to correct the problem that set up the problem in the first place, which may be a technique problem with the way they run, maybe some weaknesses, some tightnesses, some patterns of use, all of those things we need to recreate. So I'm not saying that a magnet changes all of those dramatically, it just lets us take the first step really well of being able to balance out the structure. If people have had really chronic problems, we may put a magnet on them and it'll straighten up this, and their lumbar spine starts to straighten and they'll get up to a thoracolumbar junction or somewhere high up that doesn't want to accommodate those changes. It's been so used to being rotated and side bent for some time that we then have to do some local therapy around here, letting things go. Or sometimes we actually stick a magnet there and which will straighten things up, working on exactly the same theories. It is fascinating. <laughs> we, we've had people come from a few places far and wide to get these put on. If they're, if they're local and they lose the position a bit, they can drop in and we'll adjust the position and their dysfunction corrects itself. Some of the people, we had some Americans come over and things, and she couldn't get a husband to get in the right position for love or money. And she didn't have, like if people have appropriately placed moles or little bits and pieces, you can have a something to uh, be able to target. And uh, she was the first person, she went and got a tattoo. <laughs> got a turtle tattooed on her back, and the shell of the turtle was right where the magnet needed to be. And I just gave her a marker to do that. And we've got a few people tattoo spots on their back because they've been everywhere, done everything, and not had relief, and then been able to use this and get good relief. Is it always L4L5? L4L5 is what works with this. It's yeah. where a lot of your, uh, I think where we get almost the best purchase of getting a lot of the afferent and efferent. Yeah. Uh, summation of inputs okay. uh, with playing. Through a thoracic spine, a lot of these people have thoracolumbar junction stiffnesses so that's right, yeah, and yeah. that sort of stuff and again I'll play a little bit over a couple of levels but you can sit it there for five minutes, come back and reassess the PAs and the PAs are cleared mm -hmm. and the tone through the rectus spine around it have cleared. Mm -hmm.